don't know where this will all lead. But the one thing I do know is, this is just the beginning. The live-action Netflix TV show adaptation of Avatar The Last Airbender is finally out today. So many people have been looking forward to this show for a long time. I know that there's a lot of people who have huge expectations, who love the cartoon and want this show to succeed. And I know there's a whole bunch of other people who love the cartoon as well that have very low expectations, that think nothing could ever even come close to that original Nickelodeon cartoon. And then I know there's a whole bunch of people that are going into this blind as new viewers who have no experience with the original show at all. Me, myself, I I lie kind of smack dab in the middle of all of those people. I don't have a lot of history with Avatar The Last Airbender. I did not grow up watching the cartoon. It never really interested me much as a kid. I actually watched through the show for the first time in 2022 and I really, really enjoyed it. I don't consider myself to be a diehard, huge fan of the Avatar cartoon. I'm just someone who watched through it once and found myself really, really, really liking it. But I know that whenever I go back to it and I watch it a second time, I'm probably gonna really love it. So I went into the first episode of this Netflix adaptation with pretty low expectations. I wasn't expecting it to really come anywhere close to the cartoon, but I was hoping that it could at least be a good TV show in its own right. And I'm someone who is just always looking forward to the next huge TV show. I love TV shows. I love them when they're big and they're epic and bonus points if they're in fantasy, which is what this show is. And I tell you all of that so you can have some context with this review so you can know where my point of view is really coming from. So I'm going to get into the review of episode one, but before I do that, you should consider subscribing. I talk about TV shows all the time on this page. I do episodic reviews. I do full season reviews every now and then, but I also talk about movies. But besides that, I also talk about video games a lot. So consider subscribing if any of that seems interesting to you. But anyway, let's get into the review. This is going to be a spoiler free review, so feel free to watch this. I'm not going to spoil anything for you. I'm going to start with the things that I liked first and honestly there was a lot more that I liked about this episode than I originally thought. The opening sequence was near perfect in my opinion for this episode to really showcase what it was capable of. Immediately the production value was apparent. The show looks fantastic from the locations to the direction to the sound design. You can tell that Netflix really didn't spare any expense. This world feels real and that's one thing I was really worried about. I didn't think that this world would feel cohesive. But in this very first episode, we see a lot of locations. We see the Fire Nation. We see an air temple. We see the Water Nation. And they all look very different, but they all feel like they're part of the same universe. And the episode also opens with a battle sequence. And this battle sequence was really, really great. In fact, all of the battle sequences in this episode were fantastic. And seeing people use their bending abilities in live action looks a lot cooler than I thought it was going to. I actually had some worries that like earth bending would look kind of silly in live action but they found a way to make it look really badass and really intense especially fire bending fire bending looks so cool in live action. And this first episode, again, did a near perfect job, in my opinion, of world building. Everything that I feel like should have been in a pilot episode to really tell you what this world is, what the conflict in this world is, what these different tribes are, and what they mean to each other. Just every bit of exposition that should have been there, I feel like was here, and I feel like they didn't overexpose, which was another thing I was really, really worried about. I thought that this first episode would just be an exposition dump. And luckily it was characters. I know a lot of people are going to be wondering how do the characters feel? Do they feel faithful to their cartoon counterparts? And in my opinion, they all feel practically as perfect as you could get for a live action adaptation of these characters. In fact, these live action portrayals of these characters, again, are a lot better than I thought they were going to be. And I feel like that's something I'm going to say a lot in this review, is that everything feels better than I was expecting. And it's true. Another great thing about this first episode is that the emotion hit, at least for me personally. Every place in the narrative where they wanted you to feel emotion, I felt that emotion. And not just one emotion, I felt the whole spectrum 
spectrum of emotions. Whenever there was a sequence where you were supposed to feel sad, where a character felt sad, I felt sad. Every time that there was an intense action scene and it felt like there were stakes, it felt like there were stakes. And if I'm already feeling this way in the first episode, I can only imagine that it gets better and better and better with each episode. But one of my biggest praises with this first episode is that each pillar of production feels equal with each other, which is something that a lot of TV shows have been lacking lately. So a lot of new recent TV shows have felt really unbalanced in my opinion. For example, I'll talk about Rings of Power for a second. I feel like the general consensus with Rings of Power was you sit down and you watch the first episode. And one of the first thoughts you probably have is wow, this show looks fantastic. Fantastic. Production value is amazing. This show looks beautiful. So the visual production value of that show is so high. But then as you keep watching the show, the narrative maybe doesn't reach the heights of the production itself. So the narrative is down here. And then as the narrative continues, you realize pacing is a huge, huge, huge problem with that show. So you have production value here, you have narrative here, and then you have pacing of the narrative way down here. And Rings of Power isn't the only new show that does that. I honestly think a lot, if not the vast majority, of new TV shows these days suffer from that problem. But luckily, in my opinion, Avatar The Last Airbender, based on this first episode, doesn't really seem to be having that problem. But now I'm gonna get into a few things that I disliked about the first episode, but luckily there wasn't that much that I disliked. First negative with episode one is gonna sound kind of hypocritical based off of one of the praises that I had, but that is the exposition. First, I'm gonna repeat what I said in the pros section of this video, and that's that I think that the exposition that they did give was perfect. They didn't give too much, but they didn't give too little. But the negative thing about that is I feel like the way that they handled exposition was very childish in a way. The way that the dialogue was written was very simplistic. It kind of felt like I was reading a young adult novel. Like you can kind of tell that the way that they wanted you to learn about the history and learn about these characters' motivations and learn about people's goals and their mindsets and their mentalities, the way that they expressed all of that was a way that they knew younger audiences could understand. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I get why they did that. Honestly, I think this show so far is doing a perfect job of appealing to almost every age demographic. But me being me, me being who I am, I wish that the dialogue was a little more mature in spots. And then the second sort of nitpick I have with this episode is yes, the CGI looks great. The CGI looks fantastic 90% of the time. But there were a few shots, there were a few scenes where it felt very clearly to me that it was just actors in front of a green screen. And that's not just a criticism with Avatar The Last Airbender, it's something that gets to me with a lot of TV shows and a lot of movies these days, is I feel like blending CGI with the real world just isn't as good as it used to be in some weird way, even though CGI has gotten far better. Like I wish that so many projects, again, not just this TV show, I wish at times it felt more like they were in the world. These characters were in a world. But more often than I wanted, it felt like actors in a studio on a stage with a green screen all around them. There was this disconnect between the characters and the locations that they were in. Anyway, that's my brief and quick thoughts on the very first episode of Avatar The Last Airbender, the live action Netflix adaptation. Depending on how this video performs, I will absolutely make a follow-up video where I review the whole season because trust me, I'm gonna have this whole season finished very, very soon. I'm very, very excited to finish it. If you've watched it, let me know what you thought about it in the comments or let me know if you're gonna ignore this show completely. Once again, consider subscribing and thank you for watching, especially if you watched this far.